So this is going to be a quick pick a card reading asking the question, what, how strong are his romantic feelings for me? Or what are his romantic feelings for me? So I'm just burning a little bit of Clary Sage here. Your options are going to be one, two, or three, obviously. Um, and then there are little color codes here too. Purple is number one, blue is number two, and orange is number three, if that helps you to decide which one you'd like to choose. And I'm going to go ahead and get started with number one. Okay. So I'm using the um, Oracle of the Mermaids by Lucy Cavendish. The first card I get from that is the magic of the Kohelan Druid, caution, secrecy, and wary. So let's see what, and then I'm using the Cosmic Tarot and I've got just three cards here. I have the Two of Wands. So we're looking at what their romantic feelings are for you. Six of Cups. This person definitely has feelings. And the Prince of Wands. So what, what I'm getting from this is that... Um, let's see. I'm just going to draw another card. What are they cautious about? I get the Emperor reversed. Okay. So this, this guy, for whatever reason, he feels cautious here because he's not sure of his ability either to be the romantic partner that he thinks you deserve or he doesn't, um, he feels uncertain. Maybe he doesn't feel like he's ready yet for the kind of relationship that he feels like you are looking for. But he definitely have, has feelings. I get the two of wands. So if you're not in a relationship, he does want to be in a relationship. The six of cups tells me he wants to give you his love. He has so much love for you and he wants to show it to you. Um, the prince of wands shows me that, you know, this. there's a physical attraction here as well. And also that he wants to communicate, um, communicate his passion to you. So, I mean, just in short... This guy definitely is very romantically interested in you. And let's just ask here three more cards. What does this guy most want you to know about how he perceives your romantic connection? Ace of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune, and the Hermit. So, you know, again, he feels like there is potential for something very substantial here. And he feels like that um, time is moving you towards what you're supposed to have together. And I feel he feels very optimistic about that. But he also has this feeling with the Hermit card of, you know, and again with the Emperor reversed and caution, there's something that's just holding him back. He just needs to, if you're not in a relationship yet, this is someone who feels like he needs to be single for a while um, to really think about things and figure out how to move forward. Um, you know, this someone who's very introspective and thoughtful, um, and they're going to be very thoughtful to you with the Six of Cups. I can tell this is someone who, you know, if you do get together, if this does work out, and I, he definitely hopes that it will. I think he almost expects that it will. Um, you know, he's going to be very caring um, towards you. It's, he's very sweet. Um, that's the energy I get from him. But he just needs um, his alone time for a while. And let's just ask him more about that. What do you need out of this alone time? And I get the Eight of Wands. I get the Five of Swords and the Chariot. So again, he wants to he wants to move it forward. I think in in a sense he would like it to move forward more quickly. The attraction is definitely there. But it's scary to him. You know, he, he just feels like before he moves forward, the chariot card is all always about moving forward, and he does see at some point him moving forward more quickly with this. But in the meantime, he just needs time to sort of heal. Um, he may have experienced heartbreak before. 
There may be a sense of having to compete with other people and feeling um, wary about that. Um, I, I feel like most of all, he just wants to go about this in the right way. I mean, that's primarily what it is. He wants to go about it in the right way. Um, but yeah, this guy is definitely into you. So what is Spirit's message to you? Okay, I get sacrifice. There are those worth making. There are those that will destroy you. And let's pull three tarot cards. And this is just the message for you, the person watching. I'm just doing upright readings. So we get sacrifice as the oracle card. Four of wands, ten of swords, the lovers. Okay. So the lovers is the ultimate card that we all want to get in romance. And the first card was about making a sacrifice. So I feel like the message is, can you, can you sacrifice everything being what you want it to be right now, but then maybe it falling apart? Um, or would you rather wait? And instead of having everything right now, wait for true love. Wait for it to develop in a way that um, it really is harmonious. I mean, Spirit is saying, basically, let's not jump the gun here. Let's wait for the good stuff. You could have the quick stuff, the easy stuff with this person. But for one thing, that would really hurt this person. If you jumped in too quickly, this person would, it would be devastating for them. Because I, I feel like um, they wouldn't understand why you would want to rush something that's so important. And Spirit is um, on their side here. <laughs> spirit saying, yeah, you know, are you willing to sacrifice right now in order for something better? You know, if you're willing to slow down a little bit and let things take their time. So Spirit's saying, you know, sacrifice having everything right now in order to eventually have the real deal here with this person. So this is a wonderful reading for those of you who chose Reading number one, and let me just get the next reading together. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed that, be uh, sure to leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought, and also subscribe and look at some of my other readings. Okay. Number two was the blue cup. So what are his romantic feelings for me? I'm using the Oracle of the Mermaids deck. This is a drift, letting go, allowing a higher force to take charge for a time. Okay. And then I've got three. Okay. I've got three tarot cards here from the Cosmic Tarot. The first one is the Queen of Cups. This person definitely adores you. I've got strength and I've got the seven of pentacles. Okay, so this person is very attracted to you emotionally and physically and I left my teapot on. I'm going to go shut it off real quick. Yeah, this person adores you and it's like you're the person of their dreams. Um, I won't say woman of your dreams because this is for whoever happens to be watching. Although we are talking about a male love interest. So, you know, this person kind of feels like a failure here. I mean, they, they still are hoping that this will happen, but it's almost like they've given up on their own ability to make it happen. For the time being, they're just sort of letting go and letting God. And, you know, but yeah, I mean, their feelings are very strong. So just in terms of their feelings, the feelings are there, but they feel kind of worthless. They just feel like, you know, they haven't been able to achieve what they wanted to achieve here. So let me just ask, what is Spirit's message to you? Those of you who are watching this, what's Spirit's message to you? 
I get Imrama, Wonder Voyage, Crossing Deep Waters, Pilgrimage, Journey of the Soul. You know, so as you are moving through all of the emotions about this experience, um, just be in touch with your soul and what you need on a soul level right now. This this person is focusing on themselves right now. And Spirit is saying this is a time for you to focus on yourself as well. Pull three cards here. So first I get the t the tower. I get the fool. And I get the Page of Pentacles. So, yeah, I mean, they're telling you to slow down here. The Page of Pentacles, or actually this is the Princess of Pentacles, which is the female version of the page in this deck. Uh, in this deck, there's a Prince and a Princess of Pentacles. But, yeah, this is a slower energy. Um, there's something about this connection which has been very shocking or sudden, it's really, it's shaken both of you up. I mean, you both are feeling the effects of this. Um, and it's causing you both to be very much in an emotional place. Um, you're feeling your emotions very strongly. And these are not easy emotions. Um, but don't doubt at all that this person has very strong feelings towards you. They are, I mean, I would say that they're in love with you. But they just need their time because they... They feel like a failure, and that's something that they have to work through themselves. That's an internal struggle, primarily, um, about self-worth and um, valuing themselves more. But this has really caused a big change in both of your lives. And, you know, you're both being asked for the time being to sort of take a break from this. This is heavy, difficult energy here with the tower, um, but it's bringing you a lot of vitality, a lot of new experiences. You're being asked to take a journey of the soul in a very positive way to embrace the unknown here, to not get too attached to being with this person, um, and just to enjoy your journey. Go out and try new things. Have new experiences. Both of you are needing this right now. So right now is not the time for you to be together. Which might feel um, sad for a lot of you. I definitely feel like a lot of you are already feeling sad. And so is this person. This guy that you're asking about. You know. But. It's, you're going to see the payoff in the end if you focus on you now. Um, you're going to see a very lovely payoff. You know, the, with the Pinnacles cards, any investment you make into yourself right now is going to pay off big. So you need to make those investments in yourself and your own experiences. So go out and have experiences. You need to do that. So if that resonated with you, please let me know in the comments. For those of you who chose reading number two, thank you for watching. I'm going to move on to reading number three. <clears throat> okay, so reading number three, <clears throat> we are asking what are his romantic feelings for me, for whoever it is who's watching this. The first card I get, and this is from the Oracle of the Mermaids, is sisterhood, friendship, allies, compatible souls, loyalty, joy, and delight. Okay, and then I've got three cards, actually four cards came up in this one. Um, the Magician, this is from the Cosmic Tarot deck. So I've got the Magician. What are their romantic feelings for the person watching? The Empress. The Six of Wands and the Four of Cups. Okay, and I'm just going to clarify Sisterhood here. Okay, so I clarify Sisterhood and I get Yearning, Longing for Someone, Undesired Separation, and Pining. 
So, <clears throat> I mean, my feeling from these cards that I've pulled so far is that this person, it's almost like they, they are pining for you and they want to be with you. Um, but they would be, a, they would be willing to accept friendship if that's all they felt they could have with you. Um, let's see the cards at the bottom. I'm a little confused by as well. I get endurance, keep going. And again, we have two females here. Endurance, keep going. Um, it's, I, uh, I feel like this person is not sure of their feelings. Um, they know that they are attracted to you, but I feel like they feel a little confused by it. I think they... Yeah, I don't know. I feel like this person... Um, it's almost like they feel... Um, that maybe there are other people who are closer to you. They don't feel very close to you. I think that's part of it. It's almost like they would, if they could get closer to you via friendship first, then maybe they would feel more confident. But they feel, I just feel, um, they keep feeling like more so they're in the background of your life. And for some reason, they're not recognizing how strongly you are interested in them. <clears throat> to you, it's very obvious that you're interested in this person, but he's just not seeing it. Um, I think he would like to think that he could be successful in being with you, but um, this guy is also coming through to me as someone who is um, in some way sort of in touch with his feminine side. And I think he feels a little... His confidence is lower because of that as well. You know, he he doesn't know for sure if he is what you would want. Yeah, so this guy is interested, but he seems very confused. Um, and un he, see he feels very uncertain. So I'm just going to ask, what is Spirit's message or guidance for you? about this connection. I get dreams, vivid dreaming, dream messages, dream teaching. Okay, so dreams. Let me pull three cards here. What's Spirit's message to you? Five of Cups. Okay. Two of Pentacles. And <clears throat> king of wands so spirit wants you to be maybe more aware of your intuitive connection to this person because you do have a strong intuitive connection you um you're unsatisfied here because you're waiting for this transition into this person to express themselves in a way that they're just not this is not a king of wands type person but you are feeling dissatisfied because you want them to be. And when I say a king of wands type person, I mean you're wanting them to come forward in this showy way, you know, maybe show up with flowers or, you know, writing you poetry or just openly expressing their love, you know, talking to you in front of other people about their feelings for you. Someone who's um, not afraid of openly expressing their passions you're sad because you're waiting for this person to be that type of person to you to express their love to you in that type of way but that's just not who they are they are trying to express something to you in a more intuitive way or even if they're not actively trying to express it um, those intuitive messages you if you pay attention to your intuition about this person you're going to pick up something more about what's going on with them. 
And I'm just going to ask now, what, what's the intuitive message that you would be picking up? I get three of swords, three of pentacles, and then princess of cups. Yeah, I mean, there. I feel like there's third party energy. So we get the three people up here. Um, so I feel like this person would like to make it work, but there's some third party here either on your side or their side. It may even be on both sides. There's, I'm not saying you're involved with another person or that, or that they're necessarily involved with another person in terms of a relationship, although that may be the case. But they are sensing that there are emotions here. Either they have emotions that are not resolved with someone else. It could be that someone else is giving them a lot of attention and they're... They, you know, they're not sure how to handle it or they just feel just they don't really know where they want to go with their emotions. They, they are attracted to you, but they might be attracted to someone else as well. Or they sense that you're attracted to someone else as well and that holds them back. So, you know, what would spirit most most like you to do to move forward in this situation i get guide a guide mentor a trustworthy ally okay and what do they want you to know about a guide or trustworthy ally we get the devil card the sun and the hanged man. So listen to your inner guidance about this situation. Again, that's the second confirmation I've gotten about um, about you needing to be more in touch with your intuition here. Um, and it's sort of like, you know, there are some ego things that you need to overcome. With a devil card here, there's an ego attachment here that needs to be resolved in order for you to be able to get to this better place of happiness. And that's going to involve you being willing to look at this from a new perspective. What's the perspective they should be looking at this from? I get an energy field adjustment, aura cleansing, and health. So you really need to focus on maybe doing some aura cleansing or chakra cleansing meditations. Your energy right now is a little bit low, of a more of a low vibration regarding this person. And maybe theirs is low regarding you as well, but all you can do is focus on yourself. So I would do some chakra clearing, aura clearing, cleansing meditations, maybe burn some sage in your home, stuff like that. Um, and then also it's just about going inward and really thinking about what you want in general out of your romantic life. And how can you achieve that without getting caught up in drama and intrigue and you know getting yourself confused about who's right for you or getting overly attached to a certain person, that kind of thing. I do also get the sense for you that this is a good time for you whoops, to be spending time with friends in a platonic way. Um... So specifically spending time around women seems like it would be very helpful for you right now. So if you resonated with that, let me know in the comments. And if you'd like to see more of my readings, of course, be sure to subscribe. I hope you enjoyed that and you have a wonderful day.